This might be the best business deal that LeBron James ever made. In April 2011, he bought 2% of Liverpool FC for $6.5 million. Ten years, one Champions League trophy and a Premier League title later and his stake is worth more than ten times the original amount. Let's put that into perspective. LeBron James has made some pretty big deals throughout his career. He is, besides Ronaldo and Jordan, the only athlete who has a lifetime contract with Nike. He owned shares of Beats by Dre and helped build up the brand before it was sold to Apple for a huge profit. And his production company Spring Hill Entertainment is shaking up Hollywood. But even among these very impressive examples, securing a stake in Liverpool still stands out. Not only because of the raw numbers, but also because of what the deal means for LeBron's long-term vision. Welcome to Athletic Interest. Here's the story of how LeBron James took his business acumen to Anfield. To understand the significance of the deal, it is important to explain its background and the business strategy that LeBron James has developed over the years. There is an anecdote that says a lot about how he conducts business. At the age of 18, he turned down a life-changing check of 10 million US dollars to sign with Reebok and returned to high school the next day. Though only 18, this decision would act as a precedent for his future business ventures, to put long-term legacy over short-term gains. He later signed with Nike for less than the Reebok offer, but in the long run, this turned out to be the right choice. Besides the strategic thinking that he showed at that moment, what stands out is that he was so involved in his deals at all. It's not uncommon that young players just let their agents handle the business and simply go for the highest paycheck. But that's not LeBron's style. If you had to describe his approach with one word, it would be ownership. He likes to keep control over his business and the way his story is told, at least as much as is possible in today's media landscape. But owning a pizza chain or starting a production company is different from owning a sports team. So how did LeBron James end up buying a part of Liverpool FC, one of the biggest football clubs on the planet? It was financial advisor Paul Walker who introduced him and his business partner Maverick Carter to Fenway Sports Group, in short FSG. The company has been praised for its emergence as one of the largest and most sophisticated sports empires in the world. But when the parties first sat down in an office in Santa Monica, nobody really knew what to expect. Maverick Carter was looking for a new company to represent LeBron James in marketing deals. But FSG did not represent individual athletes. They represented or simply owned whole teams like the Boston Red Sox. And when they met with Team LeBron, they had just purchased Liverpool FC for 480 million in a bidding war after their previous owners went bankrupt. So how could LeBron James, a star athlete, but not a team find a home at FSG. The thing is, they didn't treat him as simply a star athlete, but as a franchise himself. Instead of doing a traditional agency-athlete arrangement, they came up with one of the most unique sports marketing deals ever. An athlete trading his marketing rights in exchange for ownership rights in a sports team. The idea was that FSG would get the rights to pitch LeBron James to other companies and marketing deals and get a percentage of the revenue and put LeBron's name in their portfolio of assets. In return, LeBron and Carter would receive 2% of the recently acquired Liverpool FC. Shortly after the partnership was announced, LeBron traveled to Anfield to watch a game of the club he now owned a part of. But if he just wanted to watch their games, he could simply have just bought a season ticket. Why did they enter a partnership? If you think about it, the potential is huge. Just look at the collaboration between Michael Jordan and Paris Saint-Germain. 20 years ago, PSG was not nearly as popular outside of France as it is today. Despite not winning a single international trophy since then, they have somehow managed to become one of the most iconic brands in world football. How? Collaborating with Nike and Michael Jordan. PSG and Jordan was a match made in heaven. Jordan is one of the most relevant brands in the US, thanks to its strong roots in basketball culture. PSG, on the other hand, is very well known in Europe, obviously especially in France, one of the countries with the strongest purchasing power. That means, although both brands are similar in character, both sportive and fashionable, they are famous and loved by different audiences. 
By collaborating, they combine these audiences and cover markets that are usually far away for them individually. It is safe to say that the call-up paid off for PSG. The club sold over 80,000 kits just on the weekend of the launch. And it is clear where the additional sales are coming from. Compared to the previous season, shirt sales in the US had grown by an incredible 470%. And that is exactly the strategy that LeBron and Liverpool could pursue. In a recent interview with the Boston Globe, Liverpool's chairman Tom Werner revealed that a Liverpool and LeBron James football product line is in the works. I don't know specifics yet, but they are going to create seven or eight products that rival the connection that Michael Jordan has with Nike. LeBron James has global appeal, and he has a lifetime deal with Liverpool's kit suppliers. With Liverpool in the Nike camp and getting a 20% royalty kickback from the sale of Nike merchandise, he is able to help the club broaden their appeal beyond just the football fan and closer to mainstream and popular culture. It's like making a YouTube video where you talk about a famous football club and a big basketball star at the same time to get the maximum views. To be honest, LeBron James still has to deliver on the promise that he can boost the popularity of Liverpool. There's been a lot of talk about how the partnership of Nike, LeBron and Liverpool can do great things, but so far it hasn't reached anywhere near the potential of the PSG Jordan collab. But there might be much more in it for LeBron James than just the growing value of his Liverpool shares. In March 2021, he translated his 2% share in Liverpool into a 1% share of FSG. That means he is now a shareholder and partner in one of the most successful sports conglomerates out there. The share is worth around $100 million. Remember that he purchased the initial shares in Liverpool at $6.5 million. Trading 2% of Liverpool for 1% of FSG makes sense on many levels. It diversifies the investment and it puts LeBron James in a prime position to make another dream come true – owning an NBA team. Because in 2022, the focus of FSG is to acquire an NBA franchise. There is potential that an expansion team in either Las Vegas or Seattle could happen soon. The Vegas option is especially interesting. Vegas is on the rise right now, seeing a property boom like nowhere else in the US. Having had a population of around 1 million in 2000, it is set to see that rise to more than 3 million by 2035. It has always been a mecca for entertainment, but that was more Frank Sinatra and Siegfried and Roy than anything remotely associated with sport. But there are indications that Las Vegas is ready to seriously challenge the dominance of New York and Los Angeles when it comes to sport, and FSG is likely to be aware of it. In 2020, NFL team The Raiders moved from California to a new stadium in Las Vegas. And recently, Formula One added a Las Vegas Grand Prix to their race calendar. Vegas is also rumored to be the preferred location for a new MLS team. And there are plans to build a state-of-the-art sports complex. Just imagine an NBA team in Las Vegas featuring LeBron James playing together with his son Bronny. Who wouldn't want to watch that? LeBron James will likely be the man to run an FSG-led NBA franchise when the time comes. And his ability to tap into new markets and demographics is an important tool for FSG when it comes to Liverpool. His involvement in FSG and Liverpool isn't simply for optics and to sprinkle a little bit of his famous magic. It is a link up with a serious businessman who has major plans to grow his own business. And FSG and Liverpool have hitched their wagon for the ride. Whether or not it helps to provide investment into sustained success on the field, only time will tell. But the deal represents exactly what LeBron James stands for as a businessman. Playing the long game instead of cashing in the short-term opportunity. You might remember the LeBron, Nike, Liverpool connection from our very first video. It started like this. Every 28 seconds, somebody buys a Liverpool kit. Well, here's another thing that happens every 28 seconds. Every 28 seconds, someone makes their first sale on Shopify. Which brings us to today's video sponsor. We are super happy that just two years after starting the channel, we're able to focus on making videos for you full time, thanks to partners like Shopify. Shopify is the perfect partner for our business athlete series because all the athletes we talk about are actually using Shopify to build their businesses. LeBron James Company Uninterrupted, for example, is built on Shopify. 
Shopify. It's super easy to set up a store and just start selling whatever you're passionate about. And just like Shopify enables the best athletes in the world to build their brands, they empower small athletes and creators as well. Shopify has helped millions of people in 175 countries around the world start a business. And with Shopify, it's never been easier to start from scratch. We hope this got you inspired. And if it did, make sure to check shopify.com slash athletic interest or the link in the description for a 14-day trial of Shopify and build your business today. Thanks a lot for supporting our content and to many more years and videos.